Hello everyone. In this episode, I wanted to show you how you can color in slider values in Dash Studio and more importantly, how you can change multiple parameters for multiple sliders at once. So this is a really exciting tip that I got from Chris. Thank you so much for this tip, Chris. Chris streams 3D development in Blender, Marvelous Designer and Dash Studio on his Twitch channel. I thoroughly encourage you to subscribe to him. I hang out there frequently and it's just wonderful to tip to pick up tips like this. And um, so one of my supporters, Ruria, Ruria Raw, wanted to know, hey, how can I not only color in one value, but multiple values? And this is how we all came together and, you know, make this happen. So the first item on the agenda is um, how do we color in one slider value? Vendors do this often. You head over to this little gear icon, parameter settings, and then you have color A and color B here. And color A is really this color on the slider and color B is where that blends into. So usually you leave that on white, but you can set that to a different color. So if I set this to something like, I don't know, like a dark red, like this, hit OK, then hit accept down here, then my slider goes from red to this gray. So you can go and pick a different color on color B if you wanted to do that. Maybe we'll pick a green or just a custom color, something like this. Hit accept and then it goes from, you know, red to green. Doesn't look great. I gotta be brutally honest. It's this box on the outside that kind of gets changed. So I would recommend you leave that on white. But uh, so this is kind of the, the first part of the hurdle. How do we color something in? So this is, you know, we've, we've done it now. This is awesome. Now my custom character uh, has a color. But the problem is if you're a vendor and you have multiple of these sliders that you set up and you wanted to set multiple values at the same time, how do we do that? And this is where Chris's tip came in. And this is kind of cool. So uh, I have two dummy sliders that don't do anything, but imagine they were to belong to the same product and they both needed to be colored in the same way so that users can recognize how these and these things belong together. So you do that by heading into edit mode here. That's by right clicking into in, onto any of these things here and head over into edit mode. It can be either on this empty field or on a slider. It doesn't matter. You just go right click and then you head over into edit mode and these new icons come up here. Then you select all the sliders in question. So you can just go left click and drag over them or you can select the multiple with shift or control. And then you right click over these sliders again. And then there's a new menu that comes up that says set. And therein lies the secret sauce. So for our color values, you head over to presentation and then you set basically a value for color A and color B uh, as well as the images here and the card images and all that, these little icons that come up here, you set those for multiple things at the same time. So if I wanted for this to be, say, blue, then I hit OK, hit accept, and then all my sliders are blue. Isn't that exciting? I thought that was just dynamite stuff. So that really shaves off a lot of time of, um, you know, if you have multiple sliders to work with. So what often happens to me, I'll just quickly go out of edit mode and show you this again. What quickly happens to me is if I had multiple sliders that all go into the negative, and that is really not what my custom character is supposed to look like. So these sliders, they don't do anything. They're just dummy values. But imagine, but they all go by default into the minus 100% value here. And I don't want that. So I can also also change those limits on multiple sliders at the same time. And I thought that was quite dynamite as well. So once again, right click anywhere here, hit on edit mode, then select all the sliders in question, right click on them again, over to set, and then you head over to min max limits, for example. And I'll leave you to explore all the other ones in your own time. I'm just going to show you this with the max min max limits here. So minimum is going to be zero and maximum is going to be 100. The percent versus float value that is set on a per slider basis here. So mine are all percent, which is, which is what I want. Hit accept. And now none of my sliders, if I go out of edit mode, go into the negative. They're all stopping at zero and they're ending at 100. Isn't that amazing? Yes, multiple sliders changed at the same time. Do you know, this is so funny with Dash Studio. You use it for 15 years or longer and there's more, there's always more tips that you can pick up. I think this is just, this is just so cool. And this is one of those examples. So thank you so much for the tip, Chris. Thank you, Ruria, for asking this. And thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to all you supporters out there who continuously support me by buying me a coffee, by signing up to Patreon, by joining my YouTube channel memberships. I really, really appreciate every little help that you give me to make this channel a reality and have a good time with y'all. So thank you so much to y'all. Have a wonderful rest of the week and I hope I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.